Today we are going to study Unit 3, Lesson 5, Pythagoras Theorem. Firstly, let's have a small story. We have a boy on a tower and his father is in the street. We will draw a line segment with the lens of the tower and another line segment with the, the distance between the tower and the father of the boy. We need to take the boy to his father with the shortest distance and we know that the shortest distance between two points is the line segment connects these two points. So we will draw the line segments between our two points. We know that any tower is perpendicular to the street. So we have right angled triangle. The height of tower is 3 meters and the distance in the street is 4 meters. We will find that the third side is 5 meters. From where I know this? We will draw a square on the side of length 3 meters and another square on the side of length 4 meters and another square on the side of length 5 meters. Save this figure in your mind. Then we have in our right angle the triangle. The area of square of side length 3 meters equals 3 times 3 equals 9 meters squared. The area of a square of side length 4 meters equals 4 times 4 equals 16 meters squared. The area of a square of side length 5 meters equals 5 times 5 equals 25 meters squared. Tell me your notes about these numbers. So, we will go to our previous figure. Let's count the small squares on the side of length 3 meters. The big square have 9 squares inside it. And the square drawn on the side of length 4 meters contains, yes, 16 squares. And the square drawn on the side length of 5 meters contains how many squares? Yes, 25 squares. So, we notice that A plus B equals C. A, which is 9 meters square, B which is 16 and C is the sum of 9 plus 16 which is 25 meters squared. So let's know what is meant by Pythagoras theorem. In the right angle the triangle the, the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of lengths of the other two sides. We have ABC is right angled triangle at the angle P. So the side opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse, which is AC. So Pythagoras 
theorem for our triangle will be number one a c squared equal a b squared plus b c squared a c is our hypotenuse a b and b c are the two hands of the right angle number two b c squared equal a c squared minus a b squared number three a b squared equal a c squared minus b c squared example one find the value of x x here is the hypotenuse solution since our triangle is right angled, therefore x squared equal 6 squared plus 8 squared. Therefore x squared equals 36 plus 64 equals 100. Therefore the length of x equal 10 centimeter, which is the square root of 100 open your booklet page 42 and 43 number one in the opposite figure a b perpendicular on a c a d perpendicular on b c b d equal 9 centimeter d c equal 16 and a c equals 20 centimeter find letter a a d letter b a b letter c the area of triangle a b c proof since a b is perpendicular on a c therefore angle a is right angle Therefore, AB all power 2, which is one hand of the right angle, equals BC power 2 minus AC power 2. Therefore, AB power 2 equal 625 minus 400 equal 225. Then, AB equal square root of 225 equals 15 centimeter since ad is perpendicular on bc therefore angle d is right angle therefore ad all power 2 equal ab all power 2 minus bd all power 2 therefore AD power 2 equal 225 minus 81 equal 144. So AD equal square root of 144 equals 12 centimeter. Therefore, area of triangle ABC equal half times base times height equal half times CB times AD equal half times 25 times 12 equal 150 centimeters squared number two in the opposite figure abc is a triangle and ad is perpendicular to bc if ad equal 24 centimeter ab equal 26 centimeters ac equals 30 centimeters find BC and calculate the area of triangle ABC proof since AD is perpendicular on BC therefore angle D is right angle in triangle ABC therefore DB all power 2 equals AB power 2 minus AD power 2 therefore DB power 2 equals 
676 minus 576 equals 100. Then db equals the square root of 100 equal 10 centimeter. Since AD is perpendicular on BC in triangle ADC, therefore CD power 2 equal AC power 2 minus AD power 2. Therefore CD power 2 equals 900 minus 576 equal 324. So CD equals square root of 324 equals 18 centimeter. Therefore, area of triangle ABC equal half times space times height equals half times CB times AD equal half times 28 times 24 equals 336 centimeter square. Question number three. In the opposite figure, XYZL is a quadrilateral in which measure angle XYZ equal measure angle XLZ equal 90 degree. XY equal 7, YZ equal 24, and XL equal 15 centimeters. Find the length of each of XZ and ZL. Proof. In triangle XYZ, since measure angle XYZ equal 90 degree, therefore XZ all power 2 equal XY power 2 plus YZ power 2. Therefore, XZ power 2 equals 49 plus 576 equal 625. Then XZ equal square root of 625 equals 25 centimeter. In triangle XLZ, since measure angle XLZ equal 90 degree, therefore LZ power 2 equal XZ power 2 minus XL power 2. Therefore LZ power 2 equal 625 minus 225 equal 400 so lz equal square root of 400 equals 20 centimeters